There isn't a weekend that goes by without Kingman having sired a new group or graded winner across the globe. He entered stud at Judd Mons Banstead Manor with a lofty reputation, but in his first crop he sired a classic winner. Since then his rise through the stallion ranks has been stratospheric and Shane Horne, nominations manager at Judmont, tells us all about Kingman. Uh, yeah, I mean, as for a stallion farm, he's what you really would want. He had a great CV. He was by a leading sire, Invincible Spirit. His mother was a classic winner. She won the French 1000 guineas and she was a half sister to an already leading sire in Oasis Dream who still stands here today. So he came with, you know, almost like the ultimate stallion prospect CV. Due to his affinity for sort of firm turf and, you know, he had that great acceleration and high cruising speed which he passes on. So that suits those tracks like in America, um, the JRA in Japan um, and Australia too as well. So he is not unlike Frankel, you know, a truly global stallion and as a stallion firm that's, you couldn't want for more. He was a classic William Myler who sired classic William Mylers. That's what you really want to see happen. And Pershing Game was a dominant Myler. Calix, of course, was, was the Coventry. He was actually his first runner, first winner. He was very impressive um, in the Coventry. He, he had won that race, I think, 10 days only after his, his debut. Um, and he himself now has obviously got his first runners and was off to a promising start. You know, and then soon after came Palace Spear, who was one of the best Mylers we've had you know, in recent years. So he's been um, essentially you know, a very good sire of sprinters and miners today. The, the flag bearers here with Persian King and Palace Pier, abroad obviously domestic spending, uh, flew the flag for Chad Brown and he has a, a, a particular affinity for that stallion and, and his most recent stakes winner in America, Turf King, was also a, a, a Chad Brown, he won the Group 3 at, at Woodbine. Um, Schnell Meister is one of the best miners in Japan and of course we've got King Colorado who won a Group 1 two-year-old race um, at um, in the J.K. Atkins stakes, so that was um, you know, it, it, it's far, far reaching. To the best of my knowledge, there's only three stallions um, outside of Australia having never stood there that have sired a Group 1 winning two-year-old. Um, Lord Canelo in Japan was one, and Franklin and Kingman are the other two. So, um, yeah, that is significant and, again, something to be proud of. He's one of the, the best stallions around, and as we say, he, he's a global stallion too, so he appeals to a, um, a lot of markets. Frankel deserves all the plaudits he gets, and, and famously, you know, holds the record for being the fastest of 50 stakes winners, um, beating Dubao in Galileo. But only last year, Kingman also achieved that. You know, he, was, he achieved the 50 stakes winners faster than Dubao in Galileo too, but just didn't do it as quick as Frankel. So he's right up there. I mean, you know, there's, there's three stallions in this country that stand for over 100,000 and, you know, one of them is Frank and the other is Kingman. Good horses and top class horses is what it's all about. You know, the family have been breeding horses now for 40 years. We've been very lucky. I mean, that, that stallion roster you see down there now, they're all homebred. I think that's very unique. I, I would struggle to name another stallion farm on the planet that can say that. Um, you know, we've just come off the back of Royal Askin with the leading stallion farm there, so that's something to, we're very proud of. And, you know, the, the next generation, if you like, Prince Khaled's sons and, and, and grandsons, like they're going racing more and more. So it's great to see it and it bodes well for the future. <laughs>